Hello, Air here once again. Today I'll be teaching you how sprays work in Source games as well as how Valve hosted game servers handle them. Here we go. Okay, let's start off with an explanation of how sprays are made and used. Valve has a special compressed image format used by the Source engine that's also used for sprays. If you use a tool to create one of these images directly, you can make higher resolution as well as transparent sprays. I like to use VTF edit. Loading these images, or VTF files, allows you to go on any server with SV Pure set to 1 or 0 and spray them on the wall. People can see them, right? Well, sometimes. On most community servers, sprays are not blocked by SV Pure and are saved to others' machines, making them viewable from anyone on the server's perspective. Like they should be. Now let's talk about how Valve servers handle things. Valve servers actually have sprays enabled, but the upload-download process is not, so your machine is restricted from sending your spray to other clients, as well as downloading from other clients. But if you've played on many different servers with a friend and have seen their spray on a community server at least once, you will see it on Valve servers. Others will not, however. Why is that? Well, sprays are saved in a temporary directory, supposed to be deleted by the game after it closes. However, that doesn't happen. This means that every spray you've viewed at least once can be viewed on any Valve server. If you want to delete your temporary sprays folder manually to save space, you can find it here. It is 100% safe to delete everything in this directory. I advise doing this every so often if you play on community servers a lot. So remember, just because you can see your own spray, that does not mean everyone else can. This has been a video by Air, thank you for watching. If you'd like to donate, please visit air.x10.mx. Thank you.